Alright, so um, my name is Sean Quinn. I am Carl's son. Uh, about a month ago, my dad told me, okay, yeah, we're going to the roundup. And he told me, oh, yeah, there's one other thing. You have to do a lightning talk. <laughs> and so I had to come up with something that a 17 year old teenager has in common with a bunch of engineers. <laughs> so I decided pretty much everybody in this room probably shaves in one way or another. And so uh, this is kind of a thing I've taken to be kind of a hobby of mine, shaving, even though I don't really have much in the way of uh, hair in the face. I still like to take my time and do it right. So, shaving me, I find that most people don't really do it. So when I walk into a room with what I shave with, people usually respond with a face like that. And uh, it's exactly what um, I kind of like, because people kind of set me apart. And so, what I see in the world is people that shave with what they're told to shave with and people that shave with what they should shave. So here's the two cases here. We have the multi-blade shaving, which is what is advertised everywhere. Um, it's very easy. It's very, it works well. Um, and you can get it anywhere. Uh, but what you should be using is what your great grandfather probably used. And it takes a little bit of skill involved, but in our world, of course, you can't be bothered to shave curl. So what you see here is a virtualization of what I feel you're doing with that. You might as well be shaving with what he's had to do because your face is going to end up about the same. <laughs> so right here we have a hair follicle. And when you have a multi-blade system that has four different blades in it, the first blade doesn't actually cut the hair. It kind of yanks it out of the hair follicle. So when you pull it out, the second blade is going to come in and cut it. But then the third blade is going to get out more and cut it more. So you're actually going to cut the hair down to about here. So when that happens, the hair is going to start growing back. But if it's not strong enough or for whatever reason, it might get backed up. And that leads to blackheads and bad irritated skin and shaving berms and stuff like that. So what a single blade razor does, instead, it just cuts it down. You do multiple passes because the first time <coughs> you'll probably get around here, and the second time you'll get further down. And you'll eventually get down to exactly where you want it instead of getting one pass and getting too far. So what we do with this reverse revolution into a single blade, you can control each individual pass. If you don't like where you are, you can do another pass and it'll get shorter and shorter and shorter. You can control the angle because some people, their skin or where their hair growth angle is, you might need to change up how you shave at different points, but with a cartridge razor, you can't do that. And also, you can change what kind of cutting edge you use. So when I first started shaving with my straight edge razor, I had a blade that had guards on it. And now I'm moving on to sharper, more, less protective objects. So that's kind of one way you can control even more. And eventually, you just control everything about your shape. So this is much I'm going to talk about razors. But the second part about shaving, which is really important, is what is in your cream. So most people shave in cream, they buy in a can from a store. And anything that's canned is uses a propellant to make the product come out. And so the same thing probably that is used in spray paint is used in your shaving cream. And any high schooler can tell you that you can get high off of uh, hairspray <laughs> or anything that has a propellant, really. And so the same chemicals that get you high, kill your brain cells, stuff like that, are in your shaving cream. And when you're cutting skin off your face, you probably shouldn't put that in your skin. So the duty of a shaving cream in general is to hydrate the skin, to lubricate the skin, to lubricate the blades, and to carry the debris of your hair back off of the face. So ideally, you want to do just that. But what uh, most cans do, they just lubricate the skin and the blades. They carry the debris, but they don't really care about your skin much because uh, it's just a product. Right? And so this is the ideal solution, it is old school shaving soap and a brush. And so the brush feels awesome. And the shaving soap usually gives you kind of a clean feeling afterwards. It doesn't really dry out your skin very much. It's nice and fresh usually because people that make the shaving soap aren't really worried about making a profit hugely. But most of you probably can't be asked to use a brush, so I ask you, ideally, buy something in a tube instead of in a can because you don't have the depth of the propellant that kills you. That's my talk. <laughs>